In this video, we are going to continue with volume rotated 360 degrees about the x-axis. You will find this on page 345 in the Namibia IS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. The section of the graph between x is 4 and x is 12 is rotated 360 about the x-axis. Show by integration that the volume so formed, formed is 64 pi units to the power of 3. Okay, volume, remember, it's going to be always a pi and I'm always going to square the function. Okay, so if I'm squaring the function, um, I'm just going to take that to the 2 and that because I'm going to follow this rule ax plus b to the power n. Okay, so I'm just getting it ready for integration. And now I'm going to integrate. Okay, so that one, that's minus 2 plus 1, so it's going to be minus 1, right? But I must also multiply with 1 over 1. Because what is standing in front of that? If they're standing, oh, I'm covering it totally. But there is standing a 1. Okay. So basically, I'm just after I integrate and I simplify a little bit, I'm just going to substitute first the 12 and then I'm going to substitute the 4, subtract, keep the pi in front. It's just a constant. And at the end, you can multiply it in and you will see you got that answer. Okay. I want you to stop the video. It's just, it's actually just the function that's more difficult. And I want you to do number 2. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Number two. The equation of a curve, okay, what is the equation of a curve? The region between the curve, the x-axis and the lines x equals zero and x equals one is rotated through 360 degrees about the x-axis. Show that the volume is this. Okay, so let's just start. This is the volume. So volume will be equal to pi. It will be between 0 and 1. So 1 and 0. I will take the function and I will square it because it's volume, not area, and it's coming from pi, uh, area of a circle is pi r squared times height. Okay, so, and then I'm just going to integrate to x. Okay, so I'm still getting ready, I'm not integrating yet. Uh, it's the base because I'm going to follow this rule to make it squared and to make it 5 minus 2x Okay, I'm taking a little bit long. I could have done it in this previous step, both. Okay, but now it's ready. And it's negative 2 because it's going up and I integrate to x. Okay, and now I'm going to integrate. So it's going to be that um, 6 square, okay, um, let's just finish this one, 5 minus 2x, if I add 1, it's minus 1, divide negative 1, but don't forget to multiply by that. So multiply 1 over negative 2, and it's going to be 1 and 0. Okay, and then uh, if I'm going to simplify this, I can just say this negative times that negative is going to be and 6 times 6 is 36, and this is positive 2, so it's going to be 18. Okay, just, I'm going to keep it first 18. And I move this down. Oh, and you see, you must be very careful. Did you see what I did? I forgot the pi. Okay, uh, 
and it's one and zero. And now I can substitute. It's going to be 18. Okay, keep the bracket like this. So it's 18, 5 minus 2, 1. Close the bracket. Close the bracket. Minus 18, 5 minus 2, 0. Close the bracket. Um, it's better maybe to put it first. Oh, just one thing. Put it there in the bracket and then close. Okay, and there's the pi. And this is going to be 18. 5 minus 2 is 3. Minus 18. 5 minus 0 is just going to be 5. And now I can finish it off by pressing it on my calculator. I'm just going, I'm just going to press 18 ABC3, which is just going to be 6, minus ABC5, and it's 2 and 2 over 5, which is exactly that. So that is giving me 2 and 2 over 5 pi, or if I want to do 12 over 5, Five. Maybe it's better to end it just because they asked, but it will not make a difference. And that's units to the power of 3. And that's the final answer.